Welcome to Practice Strokes today. And I want to do a little landscape with you and show you how quick and easy that can be. We're going to be using our folk art multi-surface paint, which I use a lot. And um, on any type of surface, like I'm sharing with you, glass, metal, ceramic, um, most surfaces work well with our multi-surface. It's got a sealer inside of it, makes it really easy for it to adhere. All right. I'm going to use my double loader. And I use this a lot to help separate paints, but sometimes uh, so that you can double load well. And sometimes it's because I'm going to do a background where we're using mop brushes. Now, I usually always use my value pack of one stroke brushes. There's 10 most used brushes in there. I do have some uh, signature brushes that are lavender. I just wanted to buy, grab one. So the set has 13 of the most used brushes. And these are the highest quality brushes that I have as a set with one stroke. Um, and so whenever you see a silver handle, those are some that, um, that we don't have in our line that um, I'm using and sharing with you that I've created. Um, I brought into my line of painting, okay? So when you see something that's not the dark green, I just want you to know what those might be. So these are called mop brushes and they're goat hair. And what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use water to wet this. And then I'm gonna just pick up and let go across this art. This is just art paper. I'm gonna put a little tape here so it doesn't move around on us, okay? All right, that might help it a little bit. <laughs> Maybe on both sides, sorry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have floating medium in the middle, and that's what we use instead of water, all right, when we're doing strokes. But sometimes I'll use water in this mop just to get um, a watercolor effect background. I see those bubbles a little bit. That's just from uh, picking it up and moving it so fast. All right, so I want to bring some blue in here. And this, I would just do this on the canvas the same way. I paint so much that sometimes I use something besides canvas just to have a flat surface um, to share with you, okay? All right, so then this is what's going to happen now. I'm going to come in here. And this is just the sky. We're going to make some clouds. We need a horizon. So I'm going to come in here with my three-quarter flat. I wet it, dry it in a paper towel. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just pick up. This is blue peacock. Blue peacock, wicker white so far. And a little bit of patina. But what I want to do, I could turn this sideways and pull it. Um, actually, after I take it down, you're going to think I'm crazy, but it is way easier to do when you turn your piece this way and do your horizon. So you can do a horizon line with a pencil or a ruler, or you can just come right along here and pull it straight down because you don't want it to be a wave. Okay, so what happens? What happens when you do it? Um, this way, people tend to go up and down or this way in a curve. And I want to come straight across. All right. So it's easier to do that. I should have thought on a canvas board instead. Some people put tape across there. But I'm just going through here. This is a three-quarter flat. Got my one-stroke brushes. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take floating medium and I'm going to work that color. And I always like kind of that watercolor look, even though I'm not doing watercolor. But I want you to see that I'm going to come right along here. All right. And pick up more medium. Okay, now you saw that uh, patina color. I'm going to work some of that down in this lower area. So white and patina. It's going to go down here along the beach. Okay, so work it out. And I'm not using the mop right now. 
Um, this is just the three quarter that I have. All right, then I'm going to watch this. In your basin, wash it out. So I've washed out the mop brush. Um, and I'm going to pick up, with the wet brush, I'm going to pick up coffee latte and wicker wallet. And this is going to be the beach sand. Woo, that's way too dark. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Like I might mat this off or just leave the edges loose. I'm going to put more white. And you just keep working it in. On a canvas, it's going to work it different than it is on paper. So you might like a canvas better on a piece like this that we're doing. Okay. All right. So it's got that little bit of touch of sand. I'm going to take this smaller mop brush. And these are sold in a set on onestrip.com. Thank you uh, for being on today. I would love it for you guys to subscribe if you haven't. If you're liking what I'm sharing with you, if you want to learn more technique, uh, people write me and say, um, uh, hey, Miss Donna, can we do this flower, like a passion flower? Can you show me how to do teardrops or water drops, I mean? And, and then I work on getting those on for you. So, all right, so this is kind of like a sand mound that I'm going to put some grass and the poppies in. But, all right, so I'm going to, that's with a small mop brush. All right, now I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to grab some white right in here. I'll push it down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here and do some clouds. So on the top of the clouds, Okay, and then I want to make little circles. And then at the bottom, I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. At the bottom, I'm going to come across. Okay, just a little bit on the bottom. Okay, we're going to come up here. And I can do it on the more of the, not the flat, but the, chisel of the brush and I'm going to tap, 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 tap. And so it's going to get more muted as you come down because it's more watery, right? And, but look what happens when I pick up a little bit more white. Now I'm just dipping the corner into white and see how it, it gives you layers like depth. All right, so same thing can happen over here. I can come back in here. Now, when I get near to this horizon, sometimes I put um, a sun shining or a moon, okay? You're going to get these smaller as you're there because it's in a distance. Does that make sense? These are big, bellowing. These are maybe further in the distance. And, Okay, and I can also come right along here on the chisel and give it a little bit lighter touch. Okay, so what I'm doing with this practice stroke is come sharing a little bit more of how to use these different brushes. Okay, now I'm going to come in here with a 16 flat. This brush is sold separately unless you're buying the signature brushes, that's where you'll find those. All right, so I'm going to, first of all, excuse me, I'm gonna go down to a 12 flat and I'm gonna pick up white, okay? So then I can then pick up just more on the chisel. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna come along here and sputter by laying my brush down. Okay, a little bit here, a little bit here. Okay, so lay it a little bit more. All right, so that's the little bits of the wave that are coming to the shore. And you're just getting that effect. So I keep tipping the chisel in. 
So the more you lay it, see that? The more just excite or foam, okay? Now, you can put little birds in here. There's all kinds of things you can add to your seascape. Um, but I'm just showing you that as I'm pulling it down to the water line here, I'm going to take the 16 and I'm going to get floating medium and I'm going to pick up white. All right. So what you want to do is have that little bit. It's going to look see-through like the water. Uh, the sand showing, the water's coming up on the beach, and I can put a little bit more in here. See, so a little bit more of the white. And you might not even see this down here because it's going to be behind the grass and stuff. But, or you can put a little bit of blue in that water. All right, so let's come here again. See how I can just layer some white in there. All right, so just look at that. All right, now I'm going to come right in this area and I'm going to take my larger rake brush and I'm going to put medium and then grab some of the sap. This is sap green. All right, I'm going to put some there. A little bit this with it is with that feather rake brush. Some people call it feathers, some people call it rake. All right, this is one that you also can buy separately or it's inside um, my signature set. All right, so I'm just going to show you while that's wet, it's got all that floating medium in it. You can see the paper, <laughs> the art paper is kind of bubbling up, but it will dry up and go flat. Or you can um, put a tea towel over and iron it even. Okay, so this is all the darker sap green. Okay, and see, I'm pulling. I don't like to paint with medium, but since the medium's in here, I can just pull from it. Okay, this is all just sap. But now it needs a few more colors. Now that's up on the rake feather brush, so it makes it lighter. Now you can also come in with these two smaller ones, which are also sold together. All right, can you see their little, little teeny bristles at the end? So I can come in here with a little bit. I don't want medium. I just wet it and dry it and then grab the citrus. So I can come right in here. I use these for animal fur. I use them for grass. I use them for beards and and these little ones, like if I have a stem that has fuzzy, like a poppy, and if I do a large poppy and the stem has little um, hair looks on the edge of the stem, that's why I pull these little guys. So you can see when it's getting real dry. All right, I put a little bit of water and then come back. So I'm on the chisel, see, on the chisel this way really fine little lines. Flat, if I go flat, I can pull a little grass up with it flat. All right, and then little smaller ones if you need smaller ones. But see, I can come right in here and get some of this wet right here. So just, I just want you to have fun with it. You can come out. That one, I can get some medium and pull it just a little bit. Isn't that kind of fun? All right. So now I am just going to go at the top and let's pick up. Mm, let's do a six flat. All right. We're going to do a six flat. And we're going to come in here and get some poppies, make some poppies. This is apple red. All right. And so I'm just waiting to see that I'm pushing one. Oh, get another one. That one is worn out and needs to be out of my good brushes. All right. Let's see. Oh, here's a good one. All right. 
Make sure you clean the sizing off when you start. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I'm going to pick up a teeny bit of white. Just so you see a different stroke here. All right. And we're going to come right here. One, two. I can do out here and then maybe have one drop back here. That layer is pretty bright. The light's hitting it. That's part of the deal. All right. So. All right. Just by being red, people pretty much know it's a poppy. All right. One. This is a six flat. This is a bigger one right here. All right. And I'm going to do a couple of little, like little buds. Okay, so now what happens, let's just see without the glare. Now what happens is I'm going to take the little two, or the two flat, I do a lot of flats, with the licorice, and I'm going to come right in here. Okay, so it is one, two, three, three little spots. One, two, and there's one underneath here. Okay. And I do take my script liner. There's a two script liner. It's got a new one here. And I'm going to take a little bit of. All right. This liner has a lot of stiffening in it. All right, when you get them, they have in it, but that's got a lot. Okay, there we go. All right, so what you want to do is you want to grab these guys and pull them down. So they need a stem to hold them. Okay. All right, and then at the end, you decide what color you want to sign it with. With inky two script liner, and I sign. So I'm hoping that you learn something kind of fun here that is going to inspire you to try a little ocean scene with simple little strokes. And I want you to see that I'm going to try not to touch my poppies. I'm going to do a little. Go down and up like I'm doing an M. All right. And I can then put some white on it. Okay, so we just do the body a little bit up here. Little body, little tip of white. Okay, just a couple little birds. Okay, I hope you learned something and I hope you subscribe. Please subscribe and click um, ring, ring the bell so that you will, it will pop up when I have a live coming up. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.